Hey guys, Dan here. Mick here, hello. Um, just wanted to show you quickly, you, I'm sure you're all aware of now. He's smiling so much because it sounds so good. It just sounds crazy good. <laughs> um, I wanted to show you but like my favourite feature on the DNM. It's all, all right. about you, mate. This is, this is all about me. <laughs> so, so the DNM drive, we obviously have these two sides. So that is my sort of full frequency overdrive side. If we Sounds go like to, this. Sounds like a rock. Heard today through a couple of cheap old amps we managed to find um, a two rock classic <laughs> reverb signature and a Hampstead Artist 20 Plus RT. Oh, not, not the two worst amps in the world, to no. be fair. And then we have mix side, which is more of the mid humped, um, pushy, booster y overdrive thing. Now, obviously, we can combine them. So if we put the uh, drive into the boost. Or we can go boost into the drive. <laughs> it's, it's been a while since we've used the really good stuff. The really good stuff. Yeah. And, uh, there are smiles all around today. Anyway, yes. let's get on to the point, shall we? So, <clears throat> the, the obvious thing is to access those combinations, you need to get here with your feet and turn them on or off, which is fine in normal Feet world. like this. Yes. One feature that this was sort of my, that my biggest contribution to the DNM drive was this feature, where we can actually- oh, I think you're selling yourself short there, well, to be fair. Well, anyway. <laughs> Let's get on with it. So, <laughs> if you grab, a TRS cable. Now we have, um, so you've got the tip, the ring, and the shield. The tip goes to one side, uh, one mono cable, and the ring goes to another mono cable. You've all seen these before. Basically yep. stereo. Stereo to two monos. Yeah. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the jacks here, the in apple jacks, with two of these, and uh, I'll show you something really clever. So all I need to do is take the back off, And you'll see in the back there are four dip switches. To use the TRS system, all they need to do is put the dip switches in the up position, which is helpfully explained here, actually on the back of the PCB. And in the up position, you put the back on. And then I plug in my TRS cables, the input and the output. So the input becomes mix side and the output becomes my side. On the input TRS, the tip is the input and the ring is the output, but on my side, the ring is the input and the tip is the output, so it's opposite. Okay, so now what we've done, we've put the TRS cables in the input and the output, and I've separated each side. The boost side, is now in loop five, so if you give that a go. Just, just prove that the drive side isn't working, yep. Dan. Okay, the drive side is now in loop six. So, why this is really cool is that it means that anyone that has a loop switcher can actually use the individual size of the DNM drive as part of presets, okay? Split, them, split the pedal in two. You split the pedal split in two. wherever you want it. So, for example, in G2 I've got the boost side in loop five, I've got the drive side in loop six, so here's just loop five on its own. Here's the drive side on its own.
Here is the boost into the drive. And here is the drive into the boost. <laughs> the thing is for me, I love both sides and having the ability to have the the boost punching into the drive side for extra saturation or to have the boost after the drive as an overall volume boost but still has that shaping thing. We talk about gain structure all the time. Yep. It's key. So being able to separate the sides of the DNM drive and use it in, you know, obviously I'm using G2, but you can use anything that's got loops in it. Yeah, you order, yeah. and then of course, if you wanted to put... Um drive early on in your chain and then put a bunch of stuff in between and then boost right at the end you could do that as well absolutely separate separate the two sides i don't like the idea of being separated down but you know <laughs> but there you go i just think you know it's a we're so delighted with how it sounds it's amazing but that little bit of functionality for me is just it just separates it from everything else it's so cool yeah it is cool it is cool um and just to make the point Relevant if you use a loop switching device. That's correct. That's correct. Such as G2 by the Gig Rig. <laughs> Cheers, guys. We have some of these in our store now. So, um, unless, uh, yeah, unless, unless of we've course, sold out. we don't have any in the store now. <laughs> but as of this moment, we do. Let me hear uh, that guitar. See you soon.